Hey guys, Tyler, Tyler Graphics here, and this is the start of a series of tutorials on YouTube. The first one is how to search for images, how to download them, and set up your document for the start of a design. So, the player we're going to be doing for this series is Kimba Walker. So you just search for any player in Google. It's done loading. Let's go to images. And here's all the pictures you can do, but I'm going him on the Hornets. And some of these are low quality, so to guarantee it's a high quality photo, you want to come up to search tools and then go over to size larger than 2 MP 1600 by 1200 and this will guarantee you a high quality photo that you can design with so I don't know I'm thinking maybe this one looks good sure so you're gonna right click save image as And then you can save it anywhere on your computer. I recommend what I do is I just have a, a folder called HQ and PNG where I just get my uh, high quality photos off the internet and I name everything. So you want to make sure you name it Kimball Walker. And that's it for the internet. So you can just close out of that. And then you want to go over to Photoshop, File, Open. And then you want to go find that the picture you got offline so it's gonna be in my HQ downloads folder and just search Kimba Kimba Walker hit open and wait for it to load in Photoshop Alright, so here it is. Now, you can start off just by adding effects and adjusting everything on here. But what I like to do is I like to make a new document to set it up. So I go to File, New. And then I make my own, not clipboard. I do 3600 pixels as the width and 2560 as the the height and the resolution 300 pixels per inch this guarantees a high quality design that'll be good for a desktop or for a print or for anything now the image size is 26.4 megabytes so if you want to go lower the same ratio would be 1800 pixels of width and 1280 in height but I just like this because it's just based on preference and then background contents you can do a white background transparent or whatever your background color is so then you just hit OK make sure everything is good here and then this is gonna be the template or the layout of your design so just click this drag it over and you wanna make sure I just make it small at first and then what I would do is line it up so that they're the same size but you want to hold shift and then pull it out so that's it there's good so it lines up great with the design only a little bit that's left over and you want to center it and if um, the original photo say it was like this this was the original then I would hit S and then alt for the clone stamp tool I'll hit S and then you'd click alt and then click with your mouse and then you can make a background with the clone stamp tool or if you don't want to do that you can 
get this over here the rectangle marquee tool and then you just select this select some of the background with where it's not filled right click and then go down to fill use put content aware and then set the mode to normal and opacity at 100 click OK and this will hopefully fill the background fill the empty space up here with the background and this is nice because clone stamp takes a while especially say you don't want this backboard here so you have to take that out and go around Kimba so we'll just wait till this is done all right well you can see it kinda did a good job you can just touch some of these areas up with the clone stamp still but I don't normally use the content aware but it does help so but we don't need this because the image is just right for the type of layout we want to do that's the end of the first tutorial thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe and leave requests for future tutorials see